Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Roasted Corn, Empunga, Charred and Seasoned Corn on the Cob Roasted Corn, often referred to as Empunga, in Malawi, is a simple and popular street snack that's enjoyed by many. It's a delicious way to enjoy the natural flavors of corn on the cob with a smoky and slightly charred taste. Here's a basic recipe for making roasted corn. Ingredients. Fresh corn on the cob, husked and cleaned. Cooking oil, optional. Salt, optional. Instructions. Prepare the corn. Husk the corn and remove the silk threads, leaving the corn cobs clean. Preheat the grill or open flame. If you have a barbecue grill or an open flame, such as a gas stove, charcoal grill, or open fire, preheat it to medium-high heat. Brush with oil, optional. If you like, you can brush the corn with a little cooking oil. This will help prevent the corn from sticking to the grill and add a bit of flavor. Grill the corn. Place the corn cobs directly on the grill or open flame. If using a grill, you can also use a grilling basket to hold the corn if preferred. Turn the corn occasionally to ensure even cooking and prevent burning. The corn is ready when it becomes slightly charred and the kernels are tender. This usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Season, optional. If desired, you can sprinkle a little salt over the roasted corn for added flavor. Some people also enjoy seasoning the corn with spices or chili powder. Sir, once the corn is roasted to your liking, remove it from the grill or open flame. Serve the roasted corn on the cob as a delightful street snack. It's often served hot, and you can enjoy it as is or with your favorite dipping sauce. Roasted corn is a popular street food not only in Malawi but also in many other regions. It's a simple yet satisfying snack that captures the essence of fresh corn with a smoky and flavorful twist. Fruit Salad Freshly prepared fruit salads with a variety of seasonal fruits. Fruit salad is a refreshing and versatile dish that's enjoyed in many parts of the world, including Malawi. It's a wonderful way to showcase a variety of seasonal fruits while providing a burst of natural flavors. Here's a basic recipe for making a delicious fruit salad. Ingredients. A selection of fresh fruits. Use what's in season or your favorites, such as pineapple chunks, mango slices, watermelon cubes, banana slices, orange segments, apple slices, grapes, can be halved, berries, strawberries, blueberries, etc., if available. Optional additions. Fresh mint leaves, for garnish. A drizzle of honey or a sprinkle of sugar, for added sweetness, if needed. A splash of freshly squeezed lemon or lime juice, to prevent fruits from browning and add a tangy touch. Instructions. Prepare the fruits. Wash and peel the fruits as necessary. Cut the fruits into bite-sized pieces, ensuring they're all relatively similar in size for consistent bites. Combine the fruits. In a large bowl, gently toss the prepared fruit pieces together. Be careful not to crush delicate fruits. Add optional ingredients. If you'd like, add a drizzle of honey or a sprinkle of sugar for extra sweetness. You can also add a splash of freshly squeezed lemon or lime juice to keep the fruits fresh and add a zesty flavor. Chill and serve. If time allows, cover the bowl of fruit salad with plastic wrap and chill it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes before serving. This allows the flavors to meld. Serve the chilled fruit salad in individual bowls or cups. If desired, garnish with fresh mint leaves for a delightful touch. Fruit salads are incredibly flexible, and you can customize them based on what's available and your personal taste preferences. You can experiment with different combinations of fruits and even consider adding other elements like nuts, yogurt, or coconut flakes. Fruit salads are perfect for hot days, as a healthy dessert, or as a side dish for breakfast or brunch. Enjoy. Fried fish. Seasoned and deep fried fish, especially in areas near water bodies. Fried fish is a popular dish enjoyed in many cultures around the world, including Malawi, where it's often served as a flavorful and satisfying meal. The method for frying fish can vary, but I'll provide a basic recipe for making crispy and delicious fried fish. Ingredients. Fresh whole fish or fish fillets, such as tilapia, bream, or other local fish. Salt, to taste. Black pepper or other desired seasonings. All-purpose flour, for dredging. Cooking oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, or other suitable frying oil. Instructions. Prepare the fish. If using whole fish, clean and gut them thoroughly. If using fish fillets, ensure they are properly cleaned and patted dry with paper towels. 
Season the fish. Season the fish with salt and black pepper, or other desired seasonings, both inside and outside. You can also use any additional spices or herbs you prefer. Dredge in flour. Lightly dredge the fish in all-purpose flour. This helps create a crispy outer layer when fried. Heat the oil. In a large frying pan or skillet, heat enough cooking oil to cover the fish. The oil should be hot but not smoking. A temperature of around 350 degrees Fahrenheit to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius to 190 degrees Celsius, is ideal for frying. Fry the fish. Carefully place the fish in the hot oil, ensuring it's not overcrowded in the pan. If frying whole fish, you can gently place them in the oil one at a time. Fry the fish for a few minutes on each side, depending on the thickness of the fish and the level of crispiness you desire. The fish should be golden brown and crispy on the outside, and the flesh should be cooked through and opaque. Drain and serve. Once the fish is cooked to your liking, use a slotted spoon or tongs to remove it from the oil. Place the fried fish on a plate lined with paper towels to drain excess oil. Serve. Fried fish is delicious on its own as a main dish. It can be served with various sides such as enzima, a staple in Malawi made from maize flour, rice, vegetables, or even a simple salad. You can also provide lemon wedges for a tangy touch or a dipping sauce of your choice. Remember that frying times may vary based on the type of fish and the size of the fillets or whole fish. It's essential to ensure that the fish is cooked through, and the internal temperature reaches a safe level, 145 degrees Fahrenheit or 63 degrees Celsius, for seafood. Enjoy your homemade crispy fried fish. Boiled eggs. Simple and protein-rich boiled eggs. Boiled eggs are a simple and versatile dish that can be enjoyed on their own, used in salads, or as a protein-rich snack. Here's a basic recipe for making perfectly boiled eggs. Ingredients. Eggs, as many as you'd like to boil. Instructions. Prepare the eggs. Choose fresh eggs and check for any visible cracks. You can use eggs directly from the refrigerator or allow them to come to room temperature before boiling. Boil water. Fill a pot with enough water to cover the eggs. Place the pot on the stove over high heat and bring the water to a rolling boil. Add the eggs. Gently lower the eggs into the boiling water using a spoon or a ladle. You can add as many eggs as your pot can comfortably accommodate in a single layer. Boil the eggs. Once the eggs are in the boiling water, reduce the heat to maintain a gentle boil. Cook the eggs for the desired level of doneness. Soft boiled eggs, runny yolk. For a soft boiled egg with a runny yolk, boil the eggs for about 4 to 6 minutes. Hard boiled eggs, firm yolk. For a hard boiled egg with a firm yolk, boil the eggs for about 9 to 12 minutes. Adjust the cooking time based on your preference and the size of the eggs. The times mentioned above are approximate and can vary. Cool and peel. Once the eggs are cooked to your liking, use a slotted spoon to remove them from the boiling water and immediately transfer them to a bowl of ice water. This helps stop the cooking process and makes peeling easier. Peel the eggs. Once the eggs are cool, gently tap them on a hard surface to crack the shell, then peel the shells. Start peeling from the wider end of the egg where there's usually an air pocket, as it can make peeling easier. Serve or store. Serve the boiled eggs immediately as a snack or use them in salads, sandwiches, or other dishes. If you're not using them right away, you can store peeled boiled eggs in the refrigerator for a few days. Boiled eggs are a versatile and nutritious option, and they're relatively quick and easy to prepare. You can adjust the cooking time to achieve the desired level of doneness, whether you prefer a runny yolk or a firm yolk. Enjoy your boiled eggs. Roasted peanuts, ground nuts, roasted peanuts served in small bags or bundles. Roasted peanuts are a popular and delicious snack enjoyed by many. They're easy to prepare at home and can be customized with various seasonings. Here's a basic recipe for making roasted peanuts. Ingredients. Raw peanuts, with or without shells, as desired. Salt, optional. Seasonings of your choice, such as chili powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, etc. Instructions. Preheat the oven. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Prepare the peanuts. If you're using peanuts with shells, remove the shells and discard them. If you prefer to leave the shells on for a slightly different flavor, you can do so as well. Season the peanuts, optional. In a bowl, Toss the peanuts with a drizzle of oil to lightly coat them. This step is optional but can help the seasoning stick better. 
add salt and any other desired seasonings to the peanuts. You can customize the flavor to your preference. Some popular options include chili powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, or a mixture of your favorite spices. Spread on a baking sheet. Spread the seasoned peanuts in a single layer on a baking sheet. This ensures even roasting. Roast the peanuts. Place the baking sheet in the preheated oven. Roast the peanuts for about 15 to 20 minutes, stirring them every 5 to 7 minutes for even cooking. Check doneness. The peanuts are done when they are slightly golden brown and have a roasted aroma. Keep a close eye on them to avoid overcooking or burning. Cool and serve. Remove the baking sheet from the oven and let the roasted peanuts cool completely before serving. They will become crispier as they cool down. Store. Once the roasted peanuts are completely cooled, transfer them to an airtight container. They can be stored at room temperature for a few weeks, but they're best when enjoyed fresh. Roasted peanuts make a great snack, especially when you want something crunchy and flavorful. You can also use them in recipes, sprinkle them on salads, or include them in your trail mix. Adjust the seasoning to your taste and enjoy.